Hey guys, I'm back to share another project with you that I completed. So I got a very nice response for my last, uh, what did I call them? Journal folios. And I had a lot of requests to make some more. So I went ahead and I made these. So these are Alice in Wonderland themed. It's from um, some digitals that I purchased from Etsy. Uh, it's from Medieval Mirage, and it's a really cute kit, kind of non the non traditional like regular, um, you know, the images and stuff you would see. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, um, I just like the kit. I thought it was cute. I like the colors and everything. So um, I did create these ones. I finally finished them, and I really like the way that they came out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of them to show you guys and um, yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So I'll show you real quick what they look like. So this is the first one. That's the front. That's the back. Okay, then there is this one. Front, back. And then there is this one, which it's not, it doesn't. It has papers from the collection, but it doesn't really have like a girl image like the other ones do. So it's this front, and then that's the back. So um, I'm like I said, I'm really happy with the way that they came out. I really enjoy making these. I think they're a lot of fun, and you can hold so much stuff in these, you guys. It's crazy, and of course, I love the little squishiness of the paper. So let's go ahead and get started. So I guess I'll just go ahead and start with this one. So. This is what the front looks like again, and this is the back. This is the side view. I did add seam binding and ribbon for the closure, and there's a lot of extra space, so if you make it bigger, then you'll have room still to tie it. So when you open it up, I'll just put it right here. So when you open it up, this is the first page. So. Um, here has, there's a pocket and all of the pockets have stuff inside so in this pocket there is some handmade paper you do a lot of journaling on there there is this card right here uh, with this printable and then there's room to write on the back then there's this little uh, notepad that I did with some paper from the collection and then there's this little pocket card that um, I left this to where you could write on it. Um, you can tuck some things in here and then there's another little spot here to journal on. As you guys know, I like to add as much stuff as possible to make, her, to make it have like a lot of journaling like places. So all of this is in the first pocket. So that just slides right in there. So this first page has this side tuck here, or pocket, and I did a little altered guest check and I left the back blank so you could journal on that. And then that just slides right in there. Oh, there's a little tab here. I did this one at the top, the other ones I did on the side. Um, so that just slides right in there. This next page has a pocket too. Just, I used so much, uh, digitals and stuff from this collection really cute did some collaging here some layering and then this is what this pocket looks like so there's just that here's the background there's a little flash card in there that you can alter journal on whatever here's a tag and then there's this little tag right here and that just tucks right in there and then there's trim on all of the edges so in here is another pocket, and then in this one has this journal right here, and then you open it up, there's a pocket here, it has more space, the piece of coffee dyed paper that I made, and then so there's one on the front, and there is also one on the back, again with a piece of coffee dyed paper, really, really cute. So there's the back. Again, see it's like, I don't know, the images are different. They're not like the normal Alice in Wonderland lady. 
I don't know. I just thought they were different and I liked them. So, and that just slides right in that pocket. So when you turn the page, this is what it looks like. Here's another pocket. I made a uh, journaling card from a book page, sewed around it, did some collaging. You could always add a photo here, and I left the back. I just, you know, put a little bit of paper so you can journal on. I mean, you could leave it as is, obviously, but if you want to add a photo or something, and then just journal about it here on the back, and then that just tucks right into that pocket. I don't know if I showed you guys, but that's what that pocket looks like. On this side is another pocket, and then um, it just looks like that. So in here, you're going to get um, a piece of ledger paper, which is a ton of space to write on. Okay. And then you're going to get this journaling card that I did, and I sewed on it. So you can write on the back here if you want to add a photo, or you could write on the front as well. And then there's just two playing cards because, of course, you know you have to have those in Alice in Wonderland. So that just tucks right in there. And here is the pocket on this one. And in this pocket, you're going to get another little notepad. And then you're going to get this pocket that I sewn. And if you want to add it into like one of the journals or you want to add it into the book, so I just left the back blank. You can always journal on that too. This is the front, so I sewed around it, did some collaging, and then there's two little tags here that I also uh, did some sewing on. So those just tuck right in there. Really cute pocket. Um, and then you'll get this big uh, digital, and then it's a lot of space to write on as well. So you can do whatever you want. There's a couple of receipts. Of course, you guys know I love to add those. And then in this one, you have this envelope that you can tuck some little things in, you know, and keep them safe or whatnot. So you could use it in your journal. However, really cute. So all those goodies are in this pocket. So those just slide right back in there. And then when you turn the page, here's this one. This is the last one inside or last setup so this one has like a side tuck pocket and then I made this card here and then I left the back where you can write on it so again if you want to cover this up you can add a photo or you can just leave it plain and just added some trim here at the top and that just tucks right in there like that and then on this side is another pocket so this is what this pocket looks like aren't these so cute um, so there's a pocket I did some layering here there's this uh, printable from the collection. I backed it onto some uh, paper. You could journal on that if you want. You can cover that up with a photo if you want or you could just add it in somewhere. So you're gonna get that one and then this is a little notepad that I did with some graph uh, index cards. Um, <clears throat> just put this little tab here that's from the collection as well and I just sewed it on there. There's that and then there's this little tag here that you could write on the back. Or tuck it in however you want um, and then in this pocket here is another uh, journal just a paper journal so there's a pocket here and then there is a pocket here so it'll get thicker as you know you add your stuff to it or whatever so that just tucks right into that pocket there and let's see again this is the back <clears throat> So it's nice already and, you know, a little bit chunky, but I don't know. It's, I think it's super cute. So, um, yeah, so that's what this one looks like. And, uh, I don't know you guys, I've just kind of been obsessed with these. I, it's funny because when I'm working on a project, I'll get about like, I don't know, 75% done with it. And then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to move on to the next thing. <laughs> ready to move on. So then it's like the last 25% or so of a project I'm doing, it's just kind of like, ugh, I need to get this done. So that's kind of where I was with these. Um, I'm like not paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, it's like, okay, I need to get these done because I want to move on to something else. So um, yeah, that's just what that one looks like. Super cute. All right, so there's that one. Let's see, and put it over here out of the way. So this is the next one. This is what it looks like. 
<clears throat> and so yeah really cute there's a side view again I use the same <clears throat> excuse me same closure so let's go ahead and do the flip through here so <clears throat> let's see here um, in this pocket right here are some goodies so they kind of have the same goodies all of them but the images and stuff will be different so again you'll have a piece of handmade paper in there you'll get this envelope that's from the collection you can again tuck some little treasures in there and then you'll have this little notepad that I did and sewed the little topper on then you'll get this card right here and again I put it uh, it's onto a piece of a file folder, so make it nice and sturdy. And then instead of putting something here, I left it where you can just journal on that. And then there's one of these um, little pocket journaling things. Again, you can write on there, and then you can write on here. And that just tucks right in there, so you can keep it as is. You can add it into one of the journals. You can add it into the book. It's all up to you. So there's that first pocket and then here's the first page again it has the side pocket an altered guest check I did put a little bit of collaging on this one but you can still write over it and this one has the side pull <clears throat> and there's a lot of room in here so if you wanted to add more stuff you could okay so here's the next page um, there's the little pocket right here did some layering there is a flash card, there's a tag that's from the collection, and then just this little tag that I did just tucks right in there. Okay, so the first journal in this one looks like this, and then again there is the side pocket with coffee dye paper in there, and then there's also uh, one here on the back with some coffee dyed paper that I did. And this one has like a side tuck here, like out of a tag, I just did it like that. And that just tucks right in there. And this is sewn. So uh, that's the first journal. And then here's the next page. So right here, um, this is what this page looks like. There's a little queen right there. Here's a pocket with some layering, and I did another book page journaling card. Again, you can add a photo or not, um, and then you could journal here on the back. And then that just tucks right in there like that. Really cute. Then this pocket right here, and there's a little thing right there. Here's a uh, full page of ledger paper. There's a card that I made from one of the printables and just sewed it onto some file folder. So it's nice and sturdy, and then there are two cards that you can uh, add anywhere. Um, so the next pocket is the second journal. All of them have two. So, and this one has, this is what this journal looks like. It has a pocket here, and then it has the pocket here. Really cute. So that's that one. And then you also are going to get this really big journaling card and it's backed onto some file folder so it's nice and sturdy. So you're going to get those. So that's that pocket. And then here's the next page. Again, it has one of the side pockets with this big tag and lots of space for writing. Then this pocket looks like this, has this nice paper and then here is your pocket then another one of these little graph index card notepads and then here's this little tag it kind of matches that big one and then there's this tag right here and then the last pocket here has goodies and in this one you have one of the pockets that I did again you know with the sewing collaging and then there are these two little tags here um, yeah. and then there's this little notepad that I did and then there's a couple little receipts you can journal on and just add them you know however you want 
So that's what's in the last pocket. Okay, and then this is what the back looks like. So super cute. Again, as you can see, you know, they're all similar, but they're all different kind of, you know, they all have their own little special touches. Um, yeah, so that's number two. Well, the second one. I'm not really having these numbered, but um, so yeah, really cute. Okay, and then so the last one looks like this. And then that's the back. Really cute. So let's go ahead and do a little flip through for this one. All right, so. Um, and this first pocket is one of the journals, and that's what this one looks like. And then in here again, you have the side pocket with the coffee dyed paper. I just love coffee dyed paper. I just think it looks so cool. And then there is another one here on the back. So that's what that one looks like. And being that I'm in California and it's super hot, I just do mine outside. I don't even use the oven. So that's the first journal in here. I guess they're called like a naked journal when they don't have like stuff decorated on the inside. Okay, so here's the front page it has the little side pocket. Here's your altered guest check card. The little side piece right there, or the side tab, whatever it's called. Um, so then here's the next page. This has um, that in the background. Of course, there's the pocket here. You get a flash card. You'll get this tag. It's a nice big size. And then you're going to get this little tag that I made. And that can go anywhere that you want it to go. In this pocket right here, you're going to get this big cute 7. So that's what that looks like. And then there is a piece of the handmade paper. This is the envelope. It's really cute. And then one of these little journaling pocket tags that I made. And then this little notepad that I did. So all those are the goodies from that pocket. A lot. A lot of stuff in this little thing. That's how I like to work them to be where they're not too big and you have a lot of stuff in space. Okay, so here is the next page. And it has a full size sheet of ledger paper. <clears throat> the journaling tag and then two cards and then here is the next page so this has this is the book page journaling card I did again you can add a photo or leave it and then you can journal on the back it's made from a book page and I just sew it around it and that's what this page looks like so that just tucks right in there and then here's a little tag that I backed onto some uh, cardstock and that just tucks in there and then in this one the journal did I show this one no I didn't this is what this journal looks like so it looks like that there's a pocket here <coughs> pocket here that's the back so that's in that pocket the next page has the side pocket in this big journaling card just tucks right in there and then on this side there is a pocket and then there's the little notebook and then there is this tag that kind of matches the journal the same image on here I think this needs to go over here and then in this last pocket there is this big journaling card there are a couple of receipts. There's the little notebook. And then there's one of these sewn pockets. So that's what it looks like. And then the two little tags that I did sew on. And they just tuck right in there. So that is my um, Alice in Wonderland 
journal folio share. I'm really happy with the way that they came out. I think they're so cute. And I love the crinkling sound. I thought I was crazy, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there that like it too. So, yeah. Um, so, anyways, you guys, I wanted to share that. And if you guys are interested, these will be in the shop by the time you guys see this video. If anyone is interested, really cute. So that's my share for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.